Okay, just a quick tutorial on my setup for um, doing the Crowcast podcast. Uh, this is specifically for a couple of users on Crowcast, but obviously it might have applications for other people, so I'll go through quickly, but clearly if I can. Um, we use three programs, basically. Um, we use Mumble for our VoIP client, um, group chat, low latency, great audio co codecs, very stable. Um, so it served us well for a number of years. It has multi-track recording capability if required. Um, so if you're not doing a live podcast, um, but you want multi-track uh, recording functionality for editing before you upload your podcast uh, to whatever platform you use, Mumble is all you need. Um, it's fantastic. Um, we also use um, Spreaker for our um, podcasting pla platform. The reason why we use Spreaker is because um, we do live podcasting. So um, Spreaker gives us the opportunity not only to do live podcasting but also to um, host our podcast for um, offline or later listening. And putting it all together or routing it all together we use a program called Voice Meter um, which is a piece of genius that I've closed down so bear with me a moment. There it is. Um, so yeah, voice meter is basically um, audio routing. Um, it has uh, hardware. It allows for hardware and virtual inputs and outputs. Um, and I'll talk you through each step as we go along. Um, we also use Skype and or a program called Zoiper for um, interaction or phoning in and out. Um, and I'll get to those at the end. So voice meter is the first thing I always open up. Um, it um, has three hardware inputs, two virtual inputs, uh, giving a total of five inputs on the input stage, and similarly three physical and two virtual outputs on the, on the output stage. Um, it has volume control, has routing functionality, um, it has uh, EQ here, um, all sorts of things. So I'm not going to go through the ins and outs of voice meter because there's plenty of tutorials around for that. I'll just show you how we use it at this stage. So you can see here that the first thing you need to do always with voice meter is set it one hardware out. So I've set it to my audio interface, which is uh, my Scarlett USB audio interface. Um, I've, I use MME, um, do whatever works best for you. It, it all comes down to latency and for me um, with my slightly aging machine, MME seems to be the most stable. Um, so I use the MME um, um, audio engine for my output or for the whole setup really. Um, you can see here that my first hardware input is my microphone, so basically my line in from my audio interface. Again, I've used the MME um, audio engine for that. And you can see that at this stage, I'll just deselect everything so you don't get confused. At this stage, my microphone is working, but muted and routed to B2. If I was to unmute, you can see that it, it uh, goes colorful and it actually starts generating a meter on the B2 output and we'll explain that a little bit more detail in a minute. So once I've got those two elements uh, set up, my A1 hardware output and my first hardware input, that's all I need to know at this stage on voice meter and we'll come back to it in a moment. The next thing that I need to concern myself with is mumble. So Mumble, you can see that I've actually logged in to Mumble. Um, that's my Crowcast handle. And what we need to do is make sure it's cor configured correctly. So we've got to configure things. Right, now what we're trying to do here is route my microphone into Mumble so that other users can hear it and route audio, i.e. other users' um, voices and whatnot out of mumble 
into voice meter. Note that doing it this way, I don't get any uh, loop back. So my voice goes into mumble, but it doesn't then come back out of mumble again. So um, that's all the monitoring is done um, via the voice meter program. So you can see that for my input, I have chosen voice meter auxiliary output, which is B2. Now, A1, A2 and A3 are uh, hardware outputs. B1 is voice meter output. B2 is voice meter auxiliary output. Okay, now you can see that if I unmute my microphone, all of a sudden the um, activity bar starts to go. I suggest that in Mumble you use voice activity rather than push to talk or continuous. I tend to use amplitude and all you need to do is mess around with the slide bars to get a nice clean consistent um, voice feed without too much background um, noise. That's basically all you need to do um, for the input. For the output you see you can see here that I've selected voice meter auxiliary input so this means that I'm directing audio from Mumble into the voice meter auxiliary input on the input stage. Okay, now if there was someone else in here uh, talking away, you would see this um, uh, little um, meter going as well. But you'll notice that even though my voice is feeding in, it's not feeding back out, which is great. Otherwise, we'd have loopback and all sorts of dramas. So in terms of audio routing, that's all you need to do um, for Mumble. So just apply and exit. Okay. So now that I've got those two things set up, what I want to do, if, I, if all I'm doing is um, uh, recording a group chat, incorporating my microphone and sending it to Spreaker, that's really all we need to do now. Uh, we open up Spreaker. You can see that Spreaker is a pretty handy little um, um, interface for uploading um, to the server. And you can see here that my um, uh, audio source is set to voice meter auxiliary output. Okay, so at the moment it is picking up everything from... Um, now that's not exactly what I want because I'm going to get loop back. So what I want to actually select is voice meter output. Okay, now you can see there that before there was activity and now there's not. So remembering that I'm using B2 to route my um, voice into mumble, I want to select B1 now on both the auxiliary input, which is the output from Mumble, and my microphone into Spreaker. So B1 becomes my Spreaker output. So this here, B1, anything routed to B1, in this case my microphone and Mumble output is routing to B1 and you can see that because my microphone's going is picking it up everyone's happy. Now in terms of monitoring yourself you can monitor from Spreaker but of course because um, you can also monitor from voice meter what I tend to do is monitor everything from voice meter so I would select A1 here and A1 for Mumble and that way and I'll just mute that again because it's causing a loop back in my ears that way I can monitor all the output all the inputs coming in to and out of voice meter um, confident that the, if the, as long as there's activity there it's all feeding through into Spreaker um, so I don't want if you want to monitor from Spreaker you can do so by pressing that and make sure your line out is appropriate um, but I tend to monitor everything from voice meter okay so just a couple of other quick notes that's that's basically all Spreaker to start to start a um,